In our previous videos from this Grenada vacation, we gave you a full room and resort tour of the Royalton, and then a crazy moped ride around the island. And of course on that adventure, we made a couple hour pit stop at one of Grenada's waterfalls. And now for our final closing of this series, we are popping into the Sandals Resort and giving you a quick tour of that location as well. Busy like most people are, we have so little time, a budget, and have big dreams to travel and explore. By taking adventures in Orlando, our hometown, and traveling the world, we plan on making those dreams a reality. To see what's next, subscribe and welcome to our journey. You never know where we might end up. So on this adventure, we are actually leaving the Royalton, which is where we're staying right now. And if you want to watch that video, I'll put that up here or I'll put that down below in the description box. But basically, we're leaving our current resort and we're going to another resort here in Grenada. It's actually less than even a quarter mile away. Uh, and that is going to be Sandals. So now we're just grabbing a quick taxi over there and we're going to tour the property and give you a little more insight on what to expect from Sandals here in Grenada. Okay, the funny thing about, so we're now in the taxi obviously and we're actually going back past the airport, which you know, if you're flying into Grenada, the airport is literally on the southern tip of the island and there is nothing else right next to it but Sandals is littered right next to it. That's the airport. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very small, yeah. yeah. That's the runway. <clears throat> and here comes Sandals. So first thing when you walk into the lobby, they have a TV with all the departures information for your flights out, which is very, very cool. First thing, this place is huge. Like if I'm comparing it to our current resort at the Royalton, the Royalton's tiny compared to this sandals. It's absolutely massive. Real quick, I wanted to show you the resort map to give you an idea of just how big this resort actually is. So this resort spans over 17 acres and is home to 225 rooms. And I'll give it to Sandals. They are one of the few resorts that actually shows you roughly where your room will be located, which is really awesome, especially if you're booking your room here. And since Sandals is an all-inclusive resort, you have access to multiple amenities, such as having access to 10 different restaurants, six bar and lounges, a coffee shop, five pools, so once again another pool. This is on the back side of the property where it's much quieter, so you don't really hear uh, the music down on the beach or anything like that, but it's so peaceful. And look, baths on the, on the terraces. A tennis court. We're he up here on the tennis courts, and there's actually another pool, and that's where they do the paddy certification, which is really cool. So if you want to get certified for diving and whatnot, or if you're going on to a trip, they actually will do all the instructions right here in this pool on site, which is very cool. You don't have to go anywhere. You can just do it right here. And yes, they provide all the scuba gear for you at no additional charge, along with all the other non-motorized water sports you can think of. A decent sized gym.
and a full service spa. Oh, and if you find our friend Jason or Varnell, tell them Ashley and Nate said hello. So the steam and sauna are included. Anything additional after that is an additional charge, just so you know. And since I'm going over all of these details, I've actually wrote a blog on Grenada with things to do, travel tips, a packing list, and last but not least, we can actually book this resort for you as well. I'll be sure to put all of that information down below in the description box. Okay, back to the tour. So basically we're going to run around and give you a tour of the entire property. We asked about seeing a room, but we may not be able to get to see a room because of COVID and the occupancy is really high. So we just have to go back up front and she said, we'll check later on the day to see if we can do that. So these are the swim out rooms. That's just one type of the swim out rooms. Right? They obviously have multiple different rooms. And what's really cool, um, Sandals does have an app, which you can download uh, for this specific resort. So the app is actually really user friendly and can be downloaded from the Apple Store or from Google Play if you have an Android. So in a nutshell, this is what you can expect. You can see a countdown of your next vacation, access your membership details, check the weather at your travel destination, see the included restaurants and even reserve a table. You can check out the different excursions in that area and you can even book ahead of time. <laughs> Talk about convenience in the palm of your hand. And of course, it is completely free to download the app and utilize. So one very, very unique piece right here in Sandals, we're between, so I don't know if you can see this one over here. Rock. These are the jetties that are kind of sh protecting you from the ocean and the waves, which can get pretty intense. I mean, it's really windy right now. Uh, the other day it was like 40 or 50 miles per hour wind. It was ridiculous. Maybe not that much, but it was it was really windy, which you'll notice. But it's really nice to have that wind and the breeze because the sun is really intense. But as I was saying, so. <clears throat> The airport is, you can see the airport runway just right on the other side of this uh, mountain here. And this whole area is all of Sandals. So even on this side. So Sandals has a pretty secluded beach area, which is really nice. Um, over at the Royals and where we're staying, if you want to watch that video, I'll post that up here or down below. Um, <laughs> you can actually see the beach, it's right over there. Oh, and one more uh, piece information if you guys are looking for an excellent restaurant that sits right on the beach outside of sandals obviously uh, it's called the aquarium and it's literally you can see that first rock right there it's literally on the other side of that so it's you can't walk on the beach unfortunately to get to it so you'll either have to take a taxi no yeah just take a taxi and get there it's amazing but they only uh, take reservations, so you will have to have either the Sandals Resort call and make a reservation for you, or you can call as well. I'll put the restaurant details down below in the description box as well. We ate there the other night. I ate the swordfish. It was the fish of the day. Ooh, really, really good. And before I wrap up this video, I think it's important to mention these three other areas on site. The first being this gift shop. So, I don't know if you can really see the camera, but they have a whole bunch of just little items that if you forgot to pack something, they have it right here on the site, which is very cool. Second being the Adventure Center and having the ability to be able to book your excursions on site, or you can also book those same tours by yourself via the link down below with Viatar. And the third is the Wedding Center. 
which take it from us, Sandals is hands down the best when it comes to eloping and taking care of nearly every planning detail you can think of. We actually got married at the Sandals in Exuma, Bahamas, and I wrote an entire blog about our experience, and of course, I'll drop that link down below in the description box. Do you even get serenaded when you depart? <laughs> And as always, if you enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up and tell us what you actually liked about it. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, smash that bell, click all, and then you'll be notified when we post our next video. We'll see you guys in the next one.